very 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 good morning thank you so much uh, for the warm welcome dear vivites so today we have 279 people and yes some people need a reminder a dakka what do you call a push every time in order to move ahead and if you are someone who is actually doing that congratulations you are an entrepreneur because one of my good friends says if you wake up with an alarm right if you wake up with an alarm you are an employee and if you wake up yourself without an alarm you are a self employed and if you wake up and wake up others also you are an entrepreneur so who are you are you waking up because of the alarm i don't know are you waking up yourselves i don't know but are you waking up and waking up others also yes well i was just seeing my mobile um i was talking to my mentor our respected advocate abilash thomas uh my sponsor and our ceo when we were there on a travel and i was talking to abilash ji and i said abilash ji my day begins with my team and the day ends with my team so my team is nothing but an extended family of mine my good morning wishes uh, before i wish my son and my 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 wife or my mother i wish my team members good morning so i said my business is also become a part of integral part of my uh, family so my team is my extended family so good morning all of you i start the day waking up others i don't know sometimes my team members get the message uh maybe at 10:30 11 in the night and sometimes 5:55 5:45 in the morning so i keep um you know wishing my team members i keep updating my team members and today's topic for the day is also very very interesting but before we get into our subject today i want all of you to just give one dhakka one push to our lovely people team members those who are deep asleep kyunki aaj ka subject is the subject for today is a wake up call in the v hours the topic for today is wake up call in the v hours what is the meaning of v hours it's something like you know when everybody is sleeping that's called as the v hours w e e v hours okay so subject for today is wake up call in the v hours so before i get into the main subject if you have to give one last push to your team members reminder to your team members take a screenshot of this put it in your group tell them i am not waking up because of the alarm i am not waking up because of uh, just me waking up i wake up and wake up others also because i am an entrepreneur i belong to the third category of people okay so post that in your group we have 323 people reading so we must take it to at least let's say 500 600 numbers okay and yesterday we had our respected ceo address the morning club meet and i was supposed to come on monday then suddenly i got a call no our ceo is going to address so i was also very excited i started promoting all my team members and here we go today is tuesday and i'm here so yesterday's address by our ceo was very 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 interesting and very 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 inspiring and yesterday the numbers had gone up very high you know there are some people they always want new information yeah new information is good for that what we need to do watch news channel because in news channel every time it is new for success if we wait for a new information i am really sorry about it my dear friends because for success you don't need the new information you need your renewal mayapan bahar se nahi andar se you need to renew yourself so yesterday many people thought okay our ceo is coming so let's all promote and participate fantastic it's not just one day because the champion character is not in the beginning line it's in the finishing line the champion character is not determined in the starting point if you look at the olympics or all the international games what happens 
the let's say the let's say it's a marathon or a sprint or whatever there is a fire you know gunshot in the beginning and when it's fired they run and the champions the camera the audience the world the media everybody is focusing on the finishing line <clears throat> they keep the camera near the finishing line and they say here we go now we are going to witness the world's fastest man Usain Bolt is now attempting yet another world record and that's where they show the finishing line because the champions are born at the finishing line, not at the starting point. Okay, so today, wake up call in the V hours, wake up call in the V hours. Yesterday, whatever our respected CEO has discussed with us, I just want to throw a little deeper uh, uh, meaning to that and I want to explore what we can together achieve in the coming year and for the years ahead, right? 2024, Town Hall. The first point today I want to set a destiny for all of us to focus upon is 2024 Town Hall, January 2024. As our CEO anticipated the vision, it is going to be the biggest town hall event ever. And that is our Indus Vivas Kumbh Mela. When you say Kumbh Mela, you know, in South India, uh, in the temples, in the villages, they do this Mela. Mela. I think in, in all India, it's called as Mela, right? So when they say Kumbh Mela, Kumbh Mela is nothing but a grand feast. So in this Vivas Kumbh Mela, which is going to actually address even the successful completion of 500 fantastic, fantabulous, fabulous, finest weeks of Indus Viva. So 500 weeks we are going to complete. Company is going to step into the 10th year of operation. If a company can survive five years, it is fantastic because within the first five years, 90 plus percentage of the companies collapse. So if a company is completing five years, it's amazing. If a company is completing 10 years, it's not just amazing, it is outstanding and in this Viva is known to be outstanding. Okay, so we are going to step into the 10th, we are going to complete our 10th year and going to step into the 11th year. So 2024 on hall is going to be Shandar, it's going to be fantastic. So in that event, in a corner of the auditorium, if you want to sit down and clap for others, you can exit the meeting right now. You don't need this meeting. You don't need this. You can just exit this meeting if you want to come to town hall and clap for others. But if you want to come to town hall 2024 and be a fire, be an achiever, be another inspiring story of Indus Viva, then listen closely. Then listen closely. Come closer. <laughs> okay. So in that event, we want to respectfully recognize all our achievers. And in the top list, we want your names to be there as the superstars. So if you want to be the superstar, in Town Hall 2024, come to the chat box and type yes. Let me see the chat box. Okay, a lot of messages are coming in. Beautiful. Okay, keep pouring it. Wow. Okay, many, many, many. Okay, many, 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 many people have said yes. Good, lovely. So, in 2024 Town Hall, if you want to be the superstar, let me tell you, nothing happens in one day. But with consistency, one day, something huge will happen. 
So let's begin the reverse engineering, not the language of Sadhguru who says inner engineering. Let's just talk about reverse engineering. I know many people may be uh, fans of Sadhguru and the Isha Foundation. You've been uh, maybe learning something about inner engineering. So today we're talking about reverse engineering. So Town Hall 2024 is in January. We are right now in May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and uh, almost about seven, seven, eight months time we have. So whatever the time is left out, let us make a reverse engineering. Now, wake up call in the V hours. In this first point, I want to ask you, the question is, the destiny is clear. We are targeting the Town Hall 2024. Let's not talk about too lengthy or too big, you know, goals of the, you know, let's next 10 years or five years. Let's talk about the next win one year, what we call as the short range goal. Okay. In the short period within 2024 town hall, what is that you are aiming and what is the rank you are aiming to enter town hall 2024? You just decide what is going to be your goal. Okay. What is that you're going to achieve? Now, talking about your business intensity. Let's, okay, somebody's typing here, Pearl Executive, fantastic, Mr. Nisar. Uh, and Mr. Rajesh is saying uh, uh, diamond. Somebody says, I want to earn more than 10 lakh. And that's a millionaire. Okay, somebody says uh, Ruby. Somebody says, uh, uh what is the rank yes another person says diamond okay good fantastic good 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 response guys Sudhir says pearl somebody says sapphire somebody says sapphire venkat rao mr arjun says diamond sheshadri says pearl uh Narsimha says uh, yes okay good fantastic keep the messages pouring in all right so sapphire emerald pearl pearl okay Fantastic. Okay. So now the question is, what is that we are aiming in 2023-24 town hall? The first question. Now, <clears throat> let me give you one hint. If you listen to all the top performers of Indus Viva, all the top performers, right from the beginning, their intensity of doing the business has been very, very high. What is the meaning of intensity? Intensity is how they engage in the business, how they plan their goals, what kind of thoughts they have, their behavior rather than behavior, I would say their character, how they are doing in this type of business with what intensity they are doing is what separates the champions from the ordinary people. So today's Another very, very important wake up call in the form of this question to you is what is your intensity of doing your Indus Viva business? Some people are, of course, with a due respect to the government, some people do Indus Viva business like a government employee. Some people are doing industrial business with a government employee kind of attitude. You know, most of the times when you enter into a government office, I'm, I'm talking about those places where there is a lot of inefficiency. You can see that the things are not moving very fast. <clears throat> if you submit one file or one petition, it may take years together move the things in a government, you know, employee mindset organization. I'm not talking about government offices, offices, but some people are there because they think anyway the government is going to pay me the salary every month. Let me do the, you know, work at my own speed. Why should I obey my boss? Hundreds of politics and doing the things in a very, 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 very uh, pathetic way. So some people are doing Indus Viva business also like a government job. My dear friends, those who are like that, please take a shot of iPulse immediately. 
you have become <clears throat> a free radical in the system. And for a lot of people, it is a custom. Custom in South India means difficult. It is a very, very big problem, Musibat. So please, do not do business with a government employee attitude. And let me give you one hint. All of you listening closely, come closer. I'll give you one secret. If your associates are like this, run away from them. If your appearance is like this, run away from them. Don't associate with such jokers. Such people are called as energy vampires. Be careful. So my question is, are you like that? If you are like that, next time onwards, I am not going to come to MCM because I am not interested even to say hello to a person like that. I always want to associate with people, those who are always smiling. Some people are sitting in such a way, their face, if you see the seriousness, you can see that North Korea has kept an atom bomb on this fellow's head. He is seriously sitting like this. Sir, tell me, how can I become a diamond? Right? With this kind of a face, you will not become diamond. People may run away from you. So, my question is, what is your intensity of doing your Indus Viva business? And let me tell you, the intensity is driven by the intentions. Intensity is driven by the intentions. What is your intention of doing Indus Viva business? And where does the intention of doing Indus Viva business come from? With the right knowledge with the right attitude and with the right energy. So why are you doing industry of business? Is it because uh, I just want to do something in my life? I just want to, you know, be busy. All these things are fine. Let us define in simple words. If you are not serious about moving from left quadrant to right quadrant, you are wasting your time in Indus Viva business. So what is your intensity in doing Indus Viva business? Are you here to follow the rich dad lessons? Are you here seriously to move from left quadrant to right quadrant? Otherwise, according to me, the people, those who are not having the right energy, the right knowledge and the right attitude, they serve as the free radicals to our system. Then our Dr. Manjit Bhatti has to come again. He has to explain why we need to have antioxidants like IPERS in order to eliminate the free radicals. In order to fight the oxidations, oxidative stress in our system. So, if you are having the right energy, fantastic. If you have the right knowledge, superb. If you have the right attitude, superb. You are fit to do in this view of business. So once again, keep checking this once again. Because when I drive from Bangalore to, let's say, Hyderabad or to Chennai or to Kochi, or even sometimes from Delhi to Chandigarh or to Batinda, after every 10 kilometers, 3 kilometers, 4 kilometers, there is a milestone. Earlier there was milestone. It used to be very chota in the left side of the road, you know, the left milestone, which is white color in the bottom, yellow color on the top, so that the people can see where this road is heading to. Thanks to technology and to the advancement and to the fantastic uh, highways by our government of India, we have the green boards right now everywhere in the highway. The green boards gives us the right direction. It says take right, take left, go see the right. So we have the milestones everywhere which tells us where we are going. So every now and then you need to introspect what is my speed. Because when you're driving a car, you are very, very alert. You're looking at the dashboard, 
The dashboard gives everything about your journey. It tells you the speed. It tells you about your fuel. Today's technology tells you about the tire pressure and also talks about your engine, oil, and everything. A lot of aspects. It's there in the dashboard. So my question here is, look at your dashboard once again. That is another wake-up call in the V hours. So, Mr. Balraj Singh Ghanon, what is your dashboard telling you? Mr. Gurbet Singh, what is your dashboard telling you? Mr. Babesh Baishya, so how do we see what is happening in our business? Very simple. When you log into your virtual office, the dashboard is there. Last week, current week, previous week, whatever the dashboard says. You go into the last 13 weeks income, it says what is the speed at which you are traveling. If you go into the volume trends, it talks about the reorder and the first order trends of the last 13 weeks. So look at your dashboard today. The question today is what is the intensity at which you are driving your Indus Viva business? And to just a trigger a little bit of this thought process in you, let me give you another explanation. My dear friends, are you in the game zone or are you in the war zone? To be war zone and game zone, both are different. Game zone is like you're into a game. Okay, let me try playing this. You know, you're playing a game. But if you're in a war zone, you don't take a chance. You are more sharper. You are more prepared. You are more intense. So if your intensity is lacking or your team members' intensity is lacking, sit with them with a cup of eye coffee over a cup of chai. Chai pe chacha ya coffee pe chacha. No problem. You discuss with your team member individually, personally, and understand how you can increase their intensity. Because if you don't have the right team members with you, accomplishing what you want to accomplish is becoming more and more challenging. So, what is your intensity? What is your team member's intensity? Both are very, very important because we are talking about our industry was products formulation. We are talking about synergistic effect. It also applies in your business. If you have a fantastic team member who is resonating with your kind of a thought process, then the resonance is much bigger. The reflection is much bigger. So find out what is your intensity today. And that also should be checked with each one of your team members. And at what intensity you are building your business. Is it game zone? If you and your team members, first of all, like in the announcement, means make sure you wear your mask properly before assisting others. Check yourself. If you are in game zone, sit with your appliance, sit with your mentor, move out of game zone and get into war zone. Let me tell you, the comfort zone is where the people die. The comfort zone. Sometimes your game zone may be killing you. Your comfort zone may be killing you. Once in a while, talk to your mentor, move from comfort zone to game zone to war zone. And the champions are those people who always up the game. They keep the game in the war zone, not in the game zone. They play at a higher level, at a higher standard. So let us all set our intentions clear, move out of game zone and move into war zone where your intensity has to be much, much higher. If you have a 
own house, if you have a little bit of bank balance, there is something called as LDL, which is called as the bad cholesterol in our Dr. Manjit Bhatti's language. Bad cholesterol. So, little bit of savings, one, one house. If parents have made some property, many people turn out to be circus lions. I am a lion, but I am waiting for Swiggy because I don't know how to hunt. So many people are in the comfort zone of their family's comforts. So check, are you stuck in a comfort zone? Are you playing game zone? Or you are going in a war zone? And if you don't keep yourself in the war zone, the warrior in you will die. So, Coming back to our question today, at what intensity are you playing in the business? Check your team members. If they are in the game zone, pull them out and put them into the war zone. If they are not ready to come to the war zone, find out warriors, new people who can be your warriors. Because when you go to the war, you need people, those who are ready for the war not who are in the game zone or in the comfort zone. So 2023, we have the town hall, the biggest event coming. Let us set our destinies clear, what we want to be in that particular program, whether we want to be a clapping, simple participant, or we want to be the superstars, the shining stars in town hall 2024. The second point, at what intensity are you playing the game? Is it in the comfort zone, game zone, or is it in the war zone? Move your levels away and make sure your team members are also coming to the war zone. And from now onwards, we have the roadmap very clear for 2024 Town Hall. Set yourself first. Because once you align, the universe also shall align to your needs and your dreams. Whatever your intentions are set, the universe will align. It's, it will conspire itself to make it happen. So everything begins from you. All across India, we are seeing a great momentum coming up. Tomorrow morning, I'm flying to Guwahati to meet the lovely participants from Northeast. We are having a product launch of iDwell in the presence of Dr. Manjit Bhatti. So a lot of things happening, my dear friends, across India. We have seen the programs in North India. We have seen a lot of events in South India. And now I'm going to Northeast India. So the entire Indus Viva family is on the rise. Now it's time for you also to get aligned to this momentum and make sure that 2024 town hall, you are going to be ready. And don't tell me 2024 town hall, sir, I actually did not know this is going to be such a huge event because that is going to be the biggest town hall event of Indus Viva in the history of Indus Viva. So get ready for that. And today's wake up call in the V hours, hope. It has given a lot of clarity in thought for all of you to get ready for the road ahead because we are getting stronger and stronger. Our vision is getting clearer and clearer. The path ahead, the future ahead is brighter and brighter. So with that, I would love to unmute all of you. We all can say Jai Hind, Jai Indus Viva.